Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. So today is an exciting vlog. Um, it's Sunday, I am off work and it is the 29th of November and I've convinced my mum to put the Christmas decorations up later. We usually do it at the start of the month anyway but because I'm off work today and I can kind of help just made sense to do it today and I'm also going to be putting some really cute prints up um, around my room. They're not like Christmassy but I kind of wanted to tie it in with decorating the house for Christmas, just decorating my room, making it feel a little bit more, I don't know, just put together. I talked about my room transformation a little while ago um, and I've kind of shown you guys all the bits and bobs I've been buying throughout this year and while we were in lockdown and loads of you guys really, really liked it. So if you do ever see anything like in the background, if I'm just vlogging or filming or whatever um, and you want to know where it's from, it's probably in my bedroom transformation video or just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. But yeah, it is, what's the time? It's just gone 11 and me and my mum are gonna pop out to try and find a garland for the new shelving unit that we've got downstairs. We've just got all of the Christmas decorations down from the attic um, and sorted a few, a few old ones and chucked some like tatty stuff in the bin. But yeah, we're gonna have a look for some uh, garlands and a few little bits and bobs. And then I think we've got to take some stuff to my granddad or try and help my granddad find a tree for his flat because my granny might be coming home next week from hospital if you were aware of things I've talked about. She's not been very well for a long time um, and no one's seen her in months. So they wanna try and find a real Christmas tree. I'm gonna try and film a little bit on my phone because a few of you said that you really liked that in one of my last vlogs when I kind of took you out and about a little bit more. But yeah, um, we're gonna go out and I will show you how we decorate the house. They're all a bit big, these ones. They're only 20 quid though. Everything was pretty much gone, tatty, or not what we were looking for. I don't even think we got anything Christmasy. Um, no, no. I uh, just picked up some like coffee. It's some gone. crisps, some biscoff, a brownie Brandy. mix. Um, had a look at Christmas trees. They had a lot of like real Christmas trees outside that I think my granddad wants. Or watch this car. I don't know. If it's your right way. You're going the wrong way, love. Um, so we're gonna go and try, I think, well, we're gonna go Wilco, Matlam? Yeah. See if they've got anything. I don't know whether they're gonna do a type of garland, but they'll have like small decorations. Um, and because we're on a bit of a tight schedule, because my mum's got something else to do in a bit, um, we can't really go to like the range or the now, because I know that they'd have more stuff, but we don't have that here. But it's only a warm light, it's not. Yeah, I like warm lights. You like warm lights? Yeah, it's more cosy. It's not just so like. The lights on our tree are white, so aren't they? Yeah. But like around. Didn't actually film anything, but we did stop in Tesco Cafe. I hate this cuisine. Stopped at Tesco to have a breakfast and we needed to get some stuff anyway. Found a Christmas tree for my granddad. Picked up a couple of little decorations. We found a star and a cute little reindeer. And I bought a really cute tree in Matalan, which I'll show you when I get home. But yeah, we're gonna decorate the house for Christmas. So we've got lights for the outside. We've got like a little triangle. What would you call it above the front door? A little porchy thing that you can dangle stuff off. Maybe put some lights in the living room window. But we've got more space this year because you got rid of the chair. Yes. So we so gave Nanny a lot better. the chair. So it's not as going to be as cramped in that bit of the room. But you'll see when we're home anyway. Um, and I bought that really shitty Christmas skirt thing. I don't know whether I call that in the bin afterwards because it just wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. A white one. Mm. 
I think I might have binned it. Oh, it won't be in the tree, I'm not sure. So I am actually working with Tesenio on a, a few minutes of this video. So I thought it would be a good idea to put this little section in this video because we're decorating the house for Christmas. Even though the prints I've chosen aren't Christmassy as such, I've chosen them to go with my bedroom that you guys know I kind of transformed over the summer um, and I've definitely changed up the theme in here a little bit. It's still very white but rather than all the like random bits I used to have, it's very cream, beige and a lot of gold accents with obviously like white furniture. I've loved Tizenio for ages. I've seen loads of other people with their prints and just always been so tempted to order. Um, but I am working with them on this little portion of the video. It's not sponsored. They have kindly just sent these prints and frames over for me to share with you guys. And I do actually have a discount code. So my discount code is just my name, Fern Roberts. I'll pop it on the screen and I'll pop all the information in the description below if you guys are interested. But my code will get you 25% off on Tizenio from Tuesday, the day that this video is going up, until midnight on Thursday. So you've only got a few days to use it. And just so you guys are aware, the discount code doesn't apply to frames or the hand-picked personalised prints, but everything else, like the normal prints, you can get 25% off with my code Fern Roberts. But definitely be quick because you've only got a couple of days. Like I said, all the information will be in the description below. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked out and then I'm gonna get my mum in to come and help me put the two up on the wall above my bed that I've chosen and then I think I've got three other ones that I'm gonna either put on my desk or like up on my shelf um and then me and mum are gonna crack on decorating the rest of the house a bit more Christmassy. I picked out quite a few things I got two big frames so these are 30 by 40 centimeters and I got the really light wooden type frame so you can obviously buy the frames on the website but like I said the discount code won't give you a percentage off, but you can still get any frames. I don't know whether you can kind of tell that this is like a really, really light um, wood effect frame, which I liked. And then I got three of the 21 by 30 frames. So I got another one of the kind of really light wooden frame. And then I got two plain white wood frames. So these are the three smaller prints that I chose. So the first one I just thought, I don't know, it's just a bit of positivity. I do like a good quote and just something to keep the mood, you know, uplifted, keep me feeling motivated. So this one says, good vibes only. Uh, what makes you feel alive? Go do more of that. So I really, really like that one. It's kind of got like a beigey background with the black text and then the white border. Then the next one that I thought was really, really pretty and just quite calming and neutral is this one of the beach so it's just kind of like the sand and the little wave ripple there i just thought that was really really pretty nice neutral calming and then the same with this one i don't know i don't think this is pampas grass i know that everyone's kind of loving pampas grass and i've got some up there and um, with some little bunny tails um but this again it was kind of like a neutral kind of theme really really calming and just i don't know clean minimal and really really pretty and then the last small one that i got i thought i had the same one then but they're just similar prints is um this one which is just a quote which says ask yourself if what you are doing today is getting you closer to where you want to be tomorrow and again it's just kind of like another positive motivational quote you know if it's in my room i read it every day so i got this so they've got a lot of these type of prints on the website which I really really liked. Some of them are the personalised and handpicked, like I said you can't get the discount but they do have certain ones that are just normal prints which were really really pretty. I just really like the style of this. I'm not quite sure what it is. They did have ones of like bodies um, and faces and stuff and then next to that one is just a bigger version of a quote and this one says your mind is a powerful thing when you fill it with positive thoughts your life will start to change so again just something really nice just keeps me remembering and staying really positive
So I have put them all in their frames. I'm just waiting for my mum to come up and we can start putting the two up above my bed. But this is what they look like. And then I do have this spear print, which I can switch out for those at any time. So I'm going to just keep this one safe. I did actually realise with my mum's help that that is a, a body. So I turned it the other way around. I think I was showing you guys upside down. So when I said that they do have like bodies and females on the website, this is also one of them. I hope you can kind of tell that it's a person. So yeah, those two are going to go above my bed by here. And then maybe I might put one up on the shelf. Hello. Um, or like one under my mirror or I don't know over there. I'm not sure yet there do you like it do you like them do you like them <laughs> silly boy silly boy silly boy having a freak out you're messing my bed up whether to take something down from here like as much as i really really like this Obviously the black's throwing it off a little bit. So if I put like the beige one, for example, just up there. Oh, I see these are freestanding ones. That looks nice against your bars. Yeah, because it's like all beige. Yeah. I mean, the hat doesn't really go, but... I don't know what to do with those little plants because I don't know whether I like them there either. Yeah, that looks nice. So maybe that one just leave there and then I've got the two white ones. Where are you going to be putting your Christmas tree? Hmm. I don't really know. I was thinking either there or like... Move that. Hello! Shush! Shh! Dropsy. I haven't showed you this yet, but I did buy this little Christmas tree from Matalan. Um, and I don't know, I just thought it looked really, really pretty. So I've got to kind of bend all of the leaves out and make it look a little bit more full. And then I bought these baubles to go on it. So even though my room's really small, I kind of wanted to add something Christmassy to it. So I've put this print here for now. Um, and I have just kind of put my makeup stuff down there. I don't know, maybe I'll get like a little box to kind of keep this stuff in. I do want a new mirror anyway. Um, so yeah, I've just kind of put that there out the way. And to make this look a little bit pretty. Because I haven't really got room for it on here as such. I need another candle for there. I've finished my little Christmas tree. I don't really have anything on the top. But I think it looks really cute for there. I'm going to play a little, like around with it a little bit. You know, maybe I could put that this way, have the Christmas tree there, put the frame that way, I don't know, I'm just going to see, but it's really cute, so yeah, the little tree was like £6 from Matalan and the baubles were about £3. I did show everyone on Instagram the other week that my mum bought a new kind of like unit set, so we did used to have, so this was our TV unit, and then we've got a black ladder shelf there, because our coffee table's black and it all matched, but she saw this set on Wayfair. Um, which is a TV unit, a shelf, a cabinet, <laughs> trying to like see where I am. Um, and then we do have a shorter cabinet, which we haven't built yet, just because we've got a bit too much furniture and we're not sure what we're doing with the other two pieces just yet. Um, but yeah, so we've kind of got all our Christmas decorations down. We've just cleaned and hoovered and mopped um, in this area. And like I said, we've got more room because we used to have the matching reclining chair to our sofa but we gave that to my nan because it was basically 
a dog chair um, and the, the cat and the dog used to sleep on it and my mum said it was probably the most expensive pet chair ever. We've just put the Christmas tree up. It's quite an easy one. It like folds down the bottom bits and you just plug all the lights in. So it's actually a black tree, but it's not like one of those plasticky black looking trees, if you get what I mean. It kind of just looks like a really, really dark green. Um, and then it's got like this kind of fluffy, feathery effect to it and it's already pre-lit. So these are, I'd say, probably the best type of trees. It's if you want ease. Clicks. Because say if we didn't have any, join yeah, just we don't so really easy. have to put lights on it, but you could put more if you wanted to, but that's really enough for us on a tree. So these are the kind of decorations that we've got, I'd say, yeah, over the years, especially switching to the black tree, we've just gone for mainly silver, because the living room's kind yeah, of like so black, grey, glass. Silver. Yeah, I like the glass ones, I think they're really pretty. Like ones like these White are just angels. really cute. There's a new one I bought, a lovely moon with a crackled effect. Mum has had these, I must have been a few years older when that old was I. FR, Fern Roberts, she did it in play school. She would have been here yeah, about two or three. So she's kept and these I ever can't, since. I can't get rid of them. <laughs> I just can't. We did have a B from a McDonald's uh, toy that and we I have chucked in the bin now, but. I don't know where Jemima came from. Probably one of your toys when you were little as well. I don't know. We've got some little bows and then did you someone was this a christmas gift from it was christmas sarah? from sarah yes so my auntie i think was this last year or the year before two years ago two years ago it's theo on a bauble yes, I Um, decorating the house for Christmas we will probably get some more bits and bobs over the next few weeks on the lead up to Christmas maybe a few more decorations but we don't like to go too overboard we don't really go for like a classic green and red 
look just because our living room is kind of like a gray silver with black and now white so our tree is obviously like a black with white and silver sparkly ornaments which i really like and my mum does too so let me know what you think of our tree if you have any suggestions for my print um i'm really really happy with them i love this here but i've had to kind of hide all that down there for now I really love these two and of course I've got the one over there and the one on my desk and then I've got the spare one which I can switch out whenever but I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you to Desenio for sending these prints over and don't forget guys you can use my discount code Fern Roberts, which gives you 25% off from Tuesday to Thursday leave me a comment down below tell me if you've put your Christmas tree and your decorations up and who's excited for Christmas please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you are subscribed to my channel and I will see you very 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 soon. Bye!